Without VLOOKUP, you'll spend the rest of your life hunting and pecking for data. As always on Sheets Workout, we'll cover three things. What is the VLOOKUP function, when to deploy it, and lastly, a free cheat sheet so you can make it your own. It takes one value and from a table of data, looks up just the row that you need, plucks out the value that you need. The writing of the formula is a little bit tricky the first time you use it, but you'll get the hang of it. You start with the value that you want to look up, set the range that you want to look it up in, and then the column number that you want to return. Don't worry about memorizing that syntax now, you can do all that later in the cheat sheet. You never write just one VLOOKUP formula. You're generally going to want to run it on an entire data set. So you have an entire column of Twitter handles and you want to look up what are the followers for each of those. So you have 50 handles. To do this, you can wrap your VLOOKUP formula in array formula. Array formula will let you run that VLOOKUP on your entire column of data. Think of it like a copy paste for your VLOOKUP formula or any formula for that matter. This is where Sheets really shows its power. Because it's in the cloud, different Sheets can talk to each other and use a function called import range to read from one Sheet into another. So say your team maintains some kind of like database in Google Sheets. Say it's a database of like Twitter data. If you want to look something up from that data, you can write a VLOOKUP formula but just have the range that you're looking up from be an import range, meaning a range that you imported from that sheet here into your local VLOOKUP formula. Absolutely magical stuff. This right here is my personal favorite. Say you have Google Analytics data in a sheet and you wanna look up, say, sessions for a particular date and channel combination. You can't look up based on just the date or just the channel because you want the date channel combination, that unique combination. So what you can do there is use the ampersand, I'm not sure if I'm drawing that right, to join them together and create a unique key. If you join your raw data in a similar fashion, so join column A and B, just like you joined your uh, date and your channel, suddenly you're able to get much more granular with your VLOOKUP. Sometimes the best things are behind us. Hopefully not the best times, but sometimes other things. VLOOKUP can be a little bit annoying. You have to look up from your leftmost column to right. That can get pretty annoying. What if your lookup column is in C and the value that you want to return is in A? All it takes is rearranging your columns with curly braces or brackets. Now that column A is actually after column C, then you can look up against it. Tricky, tricky. Time for the cheat sheet, friends. Go ahead and master all these techniques we just discussed. And we'll see you again in another episode of The Sheets Workout by Coding is for Losers.